So it um, gets um, it falls under the heading of principle of relativity. And it's not actually a new principle. Depending on your instructor, they might have even mentioned it in Physics 4A. It's, uh, and it's something you can actually reason through. Um, what's the quickest way to do it? Um, I can give you the scenario that Galileo thought up. Um, it's, uh, you, so there's this uh, uh, German phrase. Gedanken experiment, or I guess, I don't know if it, experiment cannot be German word. I don't know. In English, we call it thought experiment. And all it is is um, trying to visualize or imagine a situation where you are trying to apply the laws of physics. So do think of this thought experiment. You are, in a, uh, you are in a submarine. And you are in your bunk bed. And in your room, there's no windows outside anywhere. How would you know if the submarine is moving or not? Now, if it's a very bumpy ride, then you will know it's moving. Let's imagine that it's a, uh, it's a very smooth ride. Or I guess most of us haven't been on submarine. Imagine you're on an airplane, and there's no turbulence. The windows are closed, so you can look outside. How would you t be able to tell the difference between are you, is the airplane flying versus is it just sitting on the runway with the engines running? Like, how would you be able to tell the difference? Can't. Can't really. How many here have been on an airplane? Yeah, so once, in the, once it's at a cruising altitude, have you walked around? Like, did it feel any different from regular walking around? Not really, right? Yeah, so uh, that's our common experience. And that relates to what's uh, called a principle of relativity. And I guess you could uh, summarize it this way. Um, Laws of physics are the same in all inertial reference frames. I think most people here are familiar with what reference frame is, you know, coordinate system and all that stuff, right? The phrase that I know I skip in my physics 4A is the phrase inertial. Can someone tell the class what inertial means? It's from the Newton's first law. Um, you, yeah, I also skip that. Um, so Newton's first law defines inertial reference frame. Let's uh, describe inertial reference frame without reference to Newton's laws. What's a synonym for inertial? Not quite homogeneous. Mass. Mass. Oh, oh you're thinking of inertia. Oh, inertial. There's L. Non-accelerating. Non-accelerating. Yeah, that's it. Inertial reference frame is a non-accelerating reference frame. Good. <laughs> it's quite simple. Um, and you know, in non-accelerating frame, Newton's first law applies. Um, so. And uh, so this is the demo that uh, you might use to illustrate it. So I mean, we actually use this demo in physics 4A for independence of vertical and horizontal motion. And you could say, well, vertical and horizontal motion are independent because this is true. So the laws of physics are arranged in such a way that there's uh, some spring-loaded mechanism here. And when I trip this thing, it launches a ball. Right, and I could put this cart on an, um, on a different in a different inertial reference frame. The inertial reference frame that's moving along with this cart. As long as I'm not pushing it, it the uh, frame that's moving with the cart that's a non-accelerating frame. And so you have already seen how this uh, ball moves in the reference frame of this room, right? And when I push it, you are going to see this ball moving in the reference frame of the room again. And this is what I'm asking you to visualize. Imagine you are an observer riding with a cart. How would you see the ball move? Would you see the ball move in a paraboling arc like this? 
or you'll just see it moving up and down, right? So like, you know, if you are uh, sitting, well, if you are sitting in an airplane and throw a ball up, then it just goes up and down back to your hand. But for someone looking at it from outside, it might do that parabolic thing. And, um, and in both cases, the ball returns to your hand because of this.